YouTube, TTC, AR10 in the building. What's good? What's good, everybody? Um, shout out to all the, the OU fans. Uh, hating on my Bulldog, saying we're going to get blown out by Bama. Uh, shout out to all the people in the media saying, oh, um, Georgia doesn't stand a chance against Alabama, and it's their year, and they don't match up well, and blah, 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 blah. Y'all didn't give us a chance against Oklahoma. Y'all said we would get beat by Oklahoma, y'all. Hyped up Baker Mayfield like he the best thing since peanut butter and jelly, and he got beat. So um, I'm not listening to y'all, really. Um, shout out to um, all the Georgia fans. Shout out to Uncle Lou. Shout out to um, <laughs> everybody out there, man, that's uh, that's repping the, the Bulldogs, man. Um, I can't believe these people aren't giving us a chance down here, man. Uh, on the radio, on YouTube, on the internet, all the commentators, they're not giving the Bulldogs a chance to win. Um, you know, I, yes, our defense had a terrible uh, performance in the first half of the game, but the game is 60 minutes, okay? You might have a terrible performance in the first half and bounce back in the second half and vice versa, okay? The defense stepped up when they had to step up, all right? Um, they got sacks. They got turnovers. They did what they had to do to, to win the game. You know what I mean? Uh, Georgia won the game at the end of the day, and people still don't want to give them props for coming back from a 31-17 to 17 lead uh, at halftime. I mean, to give up 31 points in the first half and then to only give up 10 in the second half is ridiculous, including two overtimes. You only give up 10 points. I mean, come on, man. Give Georgia its props, man. How come How come nobody wants to give uh, teams from Georgia their props, man? I don't, I don't understand that, man. It's like a, it's like an anti-Atlanta, anti-Georgia uh, thing going on, man. And, and, and people, I think, are, are really jealous, man, because Atlanta is the capital of the South. It's the capital of the South, man, for for business, for anything that's going on, you know, with, with that's south of the freaking mason dixie line man atlanta is the freaking capital man so many people have moved down here so many people do business down here so many people come down here and and buy houses and and, and real estate and, and get rich you know what i mean it's a it's a rich city you know what i'm saying yes it's got its good parts yes it's got its bad parts you know everybody uh, with all this gay tl stuff hey that's cool man you know what i'm saying you can you can say all that gay tl stuff you want but it doesn't stop the fact that Atlanta is the capital of the South, and and I think the city deserve deserves way more respect than what it's getting now. I think the University of Georgia deserves uh, way more respect for what what they're getting now. A second year head coach takes his team to the national championship. Not only does he he win the Rose Bowl, but he also wins the freaking SEC championship. Come on, man! I mean that's unheard of, man. If 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 Georgia pulls this off next Monday. Um, you got to put Kirby Smart up there as, as one of the best coaches in the country, man. I mean, if not already, you know what I'm saying? And it's just it's just ridiculous, man. I think this is a travesty, man, that Georgia is not getting the respect that they deserve, man. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think it's a travesty that um, also with my Dirty Birds, um, everybody's counting us out against the Rams. Um, everybody's saying that, you know, Gurley's going to do this and Gurley's going to do that. And, you know, the Rams have all these weapons and the Falcons don't stand a chance and blah, 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 blah. Um, we are the defending NFC championship, NFC champions. You know what I mean? We are the defending NFC champions. We've been to the playoffs before. Um, you know, we've had success under Dan Quinn. A lot of people don't don't look at that. You know what I'm saying? Dan Quinn hasn't been here 10, 15 years. You know, this is only his fourth year as a freaking coach. So uh, third or fourth year, I can't remember. But anyway. Um, this is just insane, man. I don't understand why um, people don't freaking respect the Bulldogs and people don't respect uh, respect the Falcons. I mean, everybody talks this 28-3 garbage, and, and I like it. It, it. It's it's good. You know what I'm saying? It's good that people, uh, okay, 28-3, whatever, whatever. Hey, that's good. That means, that means you recognize the fact that we made it to the Super Bowl. You know what I'm saying? We got there. You know, and we probably beat your ass. We probably beat your ass during the season twice last year. So you still salty about that. So that's why you put 28 to three and all these dumbass comments. But it's cool, man. You know, Falcons, we embrace the fact we embrace the fact that we blew a 25 point lead. We embrace the fact that that happened. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not going to go away. Yeah, it happened. 
But look at what we did to get to that point. You know what I'm saying? Look at we had the eighth best scoring offense in NFL history. A lot of people forget about that, you know. So count us out. That's cool. Count us out for uh, Saturday uh, versus, the, versus the Rams. Count us out for next Monday versus Alabama. That's fine. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, our teams are going to win. We're gonna win next. We're gonna win this Saturday, and we're gonna win this month. Uh, next Monday, uh, this is AR10 checking out. Y'all take it easy. Respect my city. Respect the state. Respect the University of Georgia, and respect the Atlanta Falcons. All right. Shout out to all the true fans out there as well. Take it easy.